To our GMA cover story and that sentencing of Jen Shaw, the real housewife getting six and a half years in prison for her role in orchestrating a fraud scheme. ABC's Aaron Katursky is back again. You were in the courtroom for this, Aaron. I was in the courtroom and I'm not sure the judge necessarily believed her, but far from the combative character seen on reality television, Jennifer Shaw presented herself in court, Janae, as contrite, remorseful, even prepared to make amends for ruining the lives of thousands of elderly victims. This morning, Jen Shaw is waiting to learn in which federal prison she'll have to spend the next six and a half years. She left court wearing sunglasses after tearfully apologizing. My actions, she said, have hurt innocent people. I was devastated. I was so ashamed because I thought I was a smarter person than that. Shaw played a leading role in a long-running telemarketing fraud that convinced elderly, vulnerable women to buy services that serve no purpose. Victims lost everything. She made millions. People are wondering, like, how'd you get so rich? I mean, I run a lot of different companies and businesses. On The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, Shaw can seem abrasive. Do you know how scared I am? Or dismissive. The only thing I'm guilty of is being Shaw amazing. In court, Shaw said her signature tagline was written for her. Reality TV, she said, has nothing to do with reality. The harm victims said they suffered from Shaw's telemarketing fraud, though, was all too real. Their lives, prosecutors said, have turned upside down. If I can talk to the people that scam me, I would say, would you do this to your mother? To your sister? And why? Why would you do this? When Shaw promised to repay every cent, the judge interrupted to ask how. Shaw said she would use her platform to raise money, and she pledged to turn over royalties from future Real Housewives episodes. But she said she stopped selling Justice for Jen merchandise, proceeds from earlier sales she pledged to save for victims. Shaw is on the hook for more than $6 million in restitution, another $6.5 million in forfeiture. Plus, she has to give up all the luxury goods she bought with other people's money. She must report to prison by mid-February. And, Janae, she wants to go to a minimum security prison in Bryan, Texas, same place Elizabeth Holmes of Theranos fame wants to spend her prison time. Janae. Wow, but she says that she will try to find a way to pay all that back. All right, Aaron, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.